Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to talk to you about bean cream. Dream it, bean it, cream it. But before I start talking to you about bean cream, I'd like to go over our marketing team. Our marketing company is called Perfect Pitch Marketing, and our team is made up of our lead, James McDonald, on this project, our strategy planner, which is myself, Michael Bean, our tech guy, Thomas Ansel, who's, who also helps us edit the videos, and Arthur Rodriguez, who's put this presentation together and is also another tech guy. Did you know 36.9% of the working class believe it's okay to be late for work just to grab a cup of joe? Did you also know that brewing up a fresh pot of coffee and drinking it eats up 24 minutes out of the average worker's day? That adds up to 146 hours in lost productivity over the course of a year. At the moment, if we release bean cream right now, there is no mainstream coffee spread yet. Yes, the product is out there, but do you know about it? Our research team had to Google this to figure out if there were any similar products, which means it would be much easier for bean cream to enter the market and succeed, especially with coffee's naturally broad appeal. Making bean cream is even simpler than making a cup of coffee. It would only take seven beans to get to your one use of bean cream rather than 20 to 30 on average coffee beans to make your cup of joe cutting costs by being more efficient bean cream is far more convenient than brewed or bought coffee meet kyle kyle has severe insomnia he's been fired from two jobs for being late because he thought he was stopping for a quick cup of coffee kyle has a constant lack of energy due to his condition which has made it difficult for him to sustain a job. Meet Roberto. Roberto runs a fast food restaurant that has a huge breakfast rush every morning. Coffee products are his best selling items. Each cup of coffee takes about a minute and a half to make, causing 20% of Roberto's customers to leave his fast food restaurant. Unsatisfied due to long wait times, this causes him a considerable revenue loss. Both Kyle and Roberto's problems were caused by speed deficiencies related to coffee preparation. If bean cream was an alternative option for them, Kyle wouldn't have been fired and Roberto would have increased revenue. Then Roberto discovered bean cream. Bean cream has streamlined his ability to provide quick quality service by replacing a product that needs to be prepared with a product already prepared. Bean cream has increased Roberto's revenue by 17% due to customer retention and cut his cost of goods sold by 5%. A friend of Kyle's saw how tired he looked and offered him some bean cream. Kyle is now able to get the energy boost he needs while running out the door on his way to work. Now that Kyle has the energy he needs, he has kept a steady job now for over three months. It's no surprise Roberto sells bean cream in his shop regularly. 64% of all Americans consume coffee products. In fact, more than 211 million Americans consumed coffee products last year. That's more than the population of Mexico and Canada combined. We have narrowed down a considerable target market for bean cream. Our ideal customer likes quick and healthy breakfasts, is health conscious, wants energy, is active, and always busy. These psychographics were identified because bean cream is a product that can be quickly grabbed without having to be prepared, has no sugar so you're not gaining any carbs, and is four times stronger than a cup of coffee. Some demographics about our ideal customer is that they're age 25 to 60, they're either employed or they're a college slash secondary school student. We identified these demographics because 25 to 60 year old workers and students are both very busy and need an energy boost that doesn't take up much time. Bean cream will come in four different sizes. Single serve packets, which will be sold in grocery stores, gas stations, and fast food restaurants at a 45% margin. Family size packets, which will be sold in grocery stores at a 25% margin. Squeezable bottles that will be sold in grocery stores and restaurants at a 15% margin. And bulk size, which will be sold at large warehouse and restaurant supply stores at a 10% margin. We have four different flavors of bean cream. 
hazelnut, mocha, vanilla, and caramel. We chose these because they're the four most popular flavors of coffee. Bean Cream has four main distribution channels, vending, retail, restaurants, and e-commerce. Canteen will be our partner in the vending category. They're the largest vending company in the United States. A lot of workplaces and campuses have vending machines in or around the building. For retail, Walmart will be our biggest partner. They're the largest distributor in the U.S. with an average of $500 billion in revenue annually. They own Asda Stores LTD, which is the second largest grocery retailer in the U.K. They also own Saya Group, which is a Japanese chain of supermarkets. Sam's Club, Costco, and Cash and Carry will be our primary warehouse supply stores. Walmart owns Sam's Club, which means we can probably get a partnership with them pretty easily after we partner with Walmart themselves. They will be our primary distributors for our bulk size offerings, and they will also be where restaurants can buy bean cream if it's not directly from us. 7-Eleven is going to be our primary small market distributor. They're worldwide, they're quick and easy, they're a gas station. People can stop in, get a single serve packet of bean cream, maybe pick up a jar on the way home. They will be our biggest distributor of single serve packets. For restaurants, we are going to partner with Denny's because they're a breakfast restaurant. They're the second largest full service restaurant chain in America, and they're beginning to expand internationally. We're also going to partner with McDonald's because some of them are inside Walmart and their breakfast rush is where many people stop before going to work or school. Finally, we're going to partner with Amazon because they're the primary place to sell and buy things online. They have the largest supply chain in the world and we can have a greater consumer reach and convenience by selling on Amazon. Every size will be sold on Amazon. Here we have some examples of social ads. On the left we have an example of a mobile app ad. In the middle we have an example for a newsfeed ad. And on the right we have an example of a right hand ad. We think these kinds of ads will do the best because they show what our product is and they give a link to our website where interested consumers can learn more about it. These ads will appeal to our target market because they list some of the benefits of bean cream where people who would be interested in it can immediately find out more information by clicking on the ad. Here we have an example print ad that will go on a flyer. Anyone who likes coffee will be attracted to the image of the coffee beans, and the red will stick out. Here we have an example print ad for a billboard. It has all the key components of bean cream listed without being too long to read, so people driving by or stuck in traffic can still see it. The cost of advertising for a month on a billboard is $5,600. The cost of a one-minute TV ad during primetime is $60,000. To advertise on social media sites, it'll cost $200 a day. For a month, this totals out to $6,000. The total cost of our advertising campaign is $71,600. 30% of our product will be going to e-commerce sites. 10% of our product will be going to warehouse stores. 20% of our product will be going to grocery stores. 15% of our product will be going to small markets. 10% of our product will be going to vending machines, and 15% of our product will be going to restaurants. We will sell bean cream at $1 for the single serve size, $5 for the jar slash squeezable sizes, and $15 for the bulk size. Our total estimated profit in the first month is $300,000, so your return on investment in the first month will be $228,400. Thank you very much for giving us the time to present and pitch this idea over to you. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Remember, dream it, bean it, cream it.